Hey, I'm Warren Sprouse. This is the Bible Forum. We're here every Sunday night from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This is May 12, 2017. It's cold in Charleston, South Carolina. I trust that it's cold where you are, too, unless you are significantly south of us. Uh, there's snowstorms moving around and doing crazy things, and it's supposed to be spring. We set the clocks ahead, right? We sprung ahead. It's supposed to be better. Anyway, it's going to be better for the next couple of hours. We're going to spend that time together, and we're going to look at life through a biblical lens. We're going to look at government health care. No, not looking at the details of what they're talking about, but the concept of government health care. Uh, from a biblical perspective, clearly. But what if Hillary were a man? Did you see the debate? It's online. You can check it out. They took the debate between Hillary and Donald, and they switched genders. Hillary's part was played by a man, and Donald's part was played by a woman uh, with the same inflection, same energy, same everything the same. And then they took a poll from the people that they had recruited to watch and to evaluate it, and it was just mind-blowing for them uh, to see how these people reacted. We're also going to look a little bit at the gay community, not at the details, not getting down into it, but it turns out that the gay community is not so gay. Who knew? And what if you were an immigrant in France? You moved over there from here or from almost anywhere. What would you do? How would you live there? How would you act? What, what kinds of things would you expect to be doing uh, in France? And obviously we're going to look at that and turn it around and point it back and then look at some other things. But we're going to do a little logic here. There's also a poll that was done. I think it's a Barna poll. I'm not sure. I'll be sure when we get to it. Where they found out that if you hold a biblical world view, that you are more than likely, 80% or better, it is likely that you are politically conservative. Now, I don't know that that's news. But there was some news in, in the process of all of that. Now, maybe it is news to you, but it's pretty much always been that way. And do you need a vision from God? Do you need to hear from God in some unique and tangible way, in a dream or in some much more magnificent kind of way? Or is the Word of God, the written Word of God, enough for you? It seems that in our society there is a, a bunch of people who are now to the place where if they do not get a vision, they don't know how to function. We're going to talk about that. Do you get my email? This email is sent out every Saturday afternoon. It's got a picture of me. It gives a rundown of the items we're going to talk about. Uh, a couple more pictures and some articles on the back relative to what we're going to talk about because it should stimulate you just a little bit. I want you to have that. Email me. Uh, just send me an email. Don't have to say anything, and I'll know what it's about. But also, if you have a question, a comment, a criticism, you're aggravated. I don't care. Shoot me an email, thebibleform at gmail.com. Uh, call the, the um, Bible Forum phone number. It's 843-732-0249. Uh, it'll take your message. Uh, it, it might actually ring my phone, and I might have the chance to see it, hear it, and respond to it. But uh, at the very least, it'll, you can leave a message. Uh, you have something you want to talk about. Uh, we can do that, and we can do that together. This week... Our president won some, and he lost some. Uh, he gets points for motivating the private sector. Uh, according to a National Reporting Agency, uh, it says the private sector added a healthy 298,000 jobs in February, well above the 190,000 expected for that month. ADP, 
is the reporting agency. I'm not sure what the letters stand for. He also gets points for changing his immigration order. Uh, you know, he got criticized for trying to persecute Muslims and issuing this executive order. It came out too fast, too soon, didn't th think about it, went to court, got held up. Well, it's been reissued under a different format. And also, in the process of that, 500 evangelical pastors came out against this immigration limitation. Why? Do these people not have locks on their churches and on their front doors of their homes? Do these people not protect their children? Or is it simply a philosophic position with no connection to truth and reality? Oh, oh they claim it's biblical. We'll talk about it. Why is gay not so gay? The homosexual community is continually mounting public displays of unity and strength. While the suicide rates for this group, especially the transgender element, keeps going up. Studies show between twice as often as, as, as straights. Uh, in some cases, ten times as often, depending on which survey you look at. And the emotional toll is even stronger. We'll talk about it. Senator Al Franken is livid. Franken is livid that ordinary American children, like yours and like mine, just might escape the progressive educational experience. We've talked about federal government schools in the past. We've talked about it a lot. And there's a lot that's wrong with that system, from the academics to the social engineering and, and who knows what else. But the liberals tend to love the federalized system. And now we learn that ultra-liberal Senator Al Franken, a former comedian, by the way, uh, sends his children to a private school. His children don't go to the state school system. They attend Dalton School in New York City. Tuition, 44000 plus per year per student. Himself is a graduate of a private school. According to the interview with Harvard Magazine, Franken was a math and science whiz as a boy. His parents noticed this, and as he approached secondary school years, they wanted him to be able to find, uh, wanted him to be in a better school. So he ended up attending and graduating from Blake, one of the most exclusive private schools in the Minneapolis area, where the tuition for upperclassmen is currently $29,000 a year. But Franken calls Education Secretary DeVos, quote, fundamentally unqualified to lead the education department, end of quote. He took part in an all-night session on the Senate floor to oppose her nomination. Why? because she wants to transform the public school system. She wants to expand it so that parents can send their children to charter schools if they wish, and the federal government will subsidize that. They won't have to pay taxes for a failed school system and then pay to send their kids someplace else. They're going to switch it around. She is. And they're going to eliminate the political indoctrination that now passes for academics. Franklin's, Franklin, Franken is upset about it. Are you struggling with doubt, fear, discouragement, hopelessness? Or are you just simply not experiencing quality relationships? Well, there's new hope for you, and it comes from the Bible. Well, maybe. Pastor Rick Warren and his wife Kay, you know, lost their son to suicide a few years back. And it was a truly shocking and devastating experience for them and, and truly for anyone who goes through it. In today's psychological jargon, they needed to find a way to cope with that loss. And one way has been for Mrs. Warren to start a national program to help others who suffer this sort of thing. Where did her strength or her resilience come from? 
Did it come from God, from prayer, from the Word of God, from her church family? She posted the source of this newfound strength on Facebook. Oh, this is going back a year or so. Saying, quote, not long after our son Matthew died, I had a vision in prayer. Now, I don't regularly see visions, so this was unusual. The pastor's wife, evangelical, Christian, receiving a vision from God that alters her life. Does that mean the Bible, God's written word, the all we need for life and godliness book, is not up to the challenge? Another author shares with us five signs that you may need deliverance. What is that about? We'll talk about that, too, a little bit later on. I'll give you a hint. It's an either-or, not a both-and situation. Did you hear about the presidential debate? You probably watched it. I talked about it last week on the show, gave you my rundown and impression of it. But I'm talk not talking about that one. I'm talking about the one between a university professor who staged the exact same debate using the exact script from the original, including all of the hand signs and the movements and the tone of voice that they could muster, but just changing the gender. Hillary is now a man and the Donald is now a woman. The audience was then asked to decide which had the stronger argument and which appeared weaker. Guess what? I know, it's not hard to figure out how this went, but we'll talk about the specifics a little bit later in the show. A recent Barna poll exposed the way Americans think and make decisions, especially in terms of political and economic issues based on how they view the Bible. In this particular poll, conservatives were substantially more likely than liberals to hold a biblical point of view, a difference between the two groups of at least 25 percentage points. So now do you understand what's going on? We'll take that poll a little bit later on and look at how all this impacts our life and future as Americans. These and more are going to be discussions for us on the Bible Forum tonight and I trust that you'll stay with us. If not, these are recorded. You can check them out later during the week.